Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. In this video, let's see about Google search automation using Python. What is automation? Here, we need not open the Google Chrome browser and type our search query in the search box. All these things will be automatically done for us. This is possible using Selenium WebDriver and Python. That is, we can automate the Google search results. So, this Selenium package is used to automate web applications for testing purpose okay so initially we need to install selenium by giving this command in the command prompt pip install selenium it will install all the required packages along with the selenium then we need a web driver to achieve this automation it is an open source tool for automated testing of web applications across many browsers so for chrome browser chrome driver is available on both desktop and android so you can download this chrome driver from chrome driver dot chromium dot org slash downloads so in this website we need to choose the version so to check the version click here click help and about google chrome so the version will be displayed in my system it is 103 so for chrome version 103 i have to download this web driver chrome driver after downloading, so you will get a zip file. You have to extract it and copy the file in the folder where your code is placed. I have just created an empty Python file, automate Google search, present in this path. In the same location, I have placed this Chrome driver application file. So now let's start writing the code. We can do this with just four lines of code. From Selenium, import web driver. Okay. I am going to get the keyword from the user. Keyword is obtained by input function. Enter the search term. Okay. Next create an object for this web driver. So the object name is browser go to web driver dot chrome. Okay. The object is created. Now let's use the method called get browser dot get and pass the google url in this method as an argument https on double slash google dot co dot in slash search then give question mark q equal to then you have to pass the keyword which you have obtained from the user okay that's it just save it and execute it enter the search term let me give programming after pressing enter so chrome driver.exe file is running now it opens google chrome browser automatically so we got this chrome is being controlled by automated test software a pop-up message is displayed here so the keyword which we are given there is entered in the search box automatically and we have got the various urls for our search and also all these options like images, books, news and videos are also displayed. Okay. So now instead of getting the input from the user, I can also directly give the keyword here. It's Python programming. So we need not enter the search term. So this also works perfectly. Now, in case if you want to change the Google language to some other language, by default it was an English language, I want to change it to the Tamil language. In that case, we need to import options class and service class also. So, let me import that from selenium.webdriver.chrome.options. Importing options class. Similarly, from selenium.webdriver.chrome.service, let me import service class. Okay. Let the keyword be the same. Now, I am going to create an object for this options class. Namely, options equal to options. Okay. And then, let us make use of add underscore argument for this object. Options dot add underscore argument 
here here we need to pass the language to be changed for the google chrome so hyphen hyphen la equal to for tamil it is ta so close this then we need to create a object for service class so service underscore object here the service i'm passing this chrome driver exe file as an argument since it is present in the same location as that of automate google search i'm just giving the file name alone if it is in different location you have to give the path so chrome driver dot exe file then we have created the web driver object here we need to pass two keyword arguments the first keyword argument is service service object should be passed as the value and second keyword argument is the options itself and the values also options that's it this one remains the same so now when we execute it so we got it in tamil now so we got everything in tamil okay that's it about automating google search using python thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe